Hello everyone, this is MD Ajayul Islam from University of Texas at Arlington. Today we will discuss about the experiment regarding Granger's distribution of soil sample by sieve analysis method. Sieve analysis is a method by which we can determine the particle size distribution. Soil can be classified into many categories depending on the particle size. Soil particles in range between 2 to 0 0.05 millimeter is known as sand particle. Silt is 0 0.02 to 0 0.002 millimeter in diameter and clay size is smaller than 0 0.002 millimeter in diameter. The significance of this experiment is to know the distribution of different grain sizes. With the help of grain size distribution, we can do the soil classification. For sieve analysis, we need some standard sieves which has a certain opening size. In this table, sieves with corresponding opening size are shown. If maximum soil particle retained on number 4 sieve, then the soil can be classified as gravel. For sand, the soil will pass through number 4 sieve and will retain on number 200 sieve. For clay and silt particles, it will pass through number 200 sieve. Let's discuss the methodology of this experiment. In this experiment, we need a set of sieves with a mechanical sieve shaker. Number of sieves depends on the required precision of the grain size distribution curve. At first, we will record the weights of each sieve individually. Then, we will take 500 grams of oven dried soil sample. We need to clean the sieves and assemble them in the ascending order of sieve numbers. We will pour the soil sample into the top of top sieve and will place the lid over it. Then we will place the sieve stack in the mechanical sieve shaker and shake for around 20 minutes, 10 minutes. After shaking, we need to take the weight of each sieve along with retained soil sample. For the calculation, at first, we will note down the sieve numbers and sieve sizes that was used in the experiment. The mass of each sieve was recorded. Mass of each sieve with retained soil was also recorded. The mass of retained soil can be obtained by subtracting the mass of sieve from the mass of sieve with soil. Percentage on each sieve can be de determined by dividing the mass of retained soil with the total weight of the soil. Then the cumulative percent retained can be calculated. Percentage finite can be determined by subtracting the cumulative percent retained from 100. Finally, we can plot the percent finer versus particle diameter in a similar graph paper. You can use Excel or any other graph plotting software to plot this graph. From the grain size distribution curve, we can determine the value of D60, D30 and D10. D60 indicates 60% particles are finer than that size. Similarly, D30 and D10 indicates 30% and 10% particles finer than that corresponding size. From these values, we can determine the coefficient of uniformity and the coefficient of curvature. These coefficients are useful for soil classification according to Unified Soil Classification System. This classification system is also known as USCS classification system. From the shape of the gradation curve, an approximate idea 
of soil distribution can be obtained if the curve is stretched over a wide range then it is a well graded soil if the curve is within a small range then it is a uniform graded soil or poorly graded soil if the curve is horizontal for some specific range the soil can be considered as a grip cap graded soil these are the visual illustration of well graded uniformly or poorly graded and cap graded soil this is the uscs classification chart if the soil is coarse grain soil then the soil can be classified with the help of sieve analysis data only depending on the sieve analysis data the two major classification is gravel and sand for the fine grain soil we need to do the sieve analysis along with the atrava climate test which we will cover for the next experiment the application of sieve analysis is fast in concrete mix design we need to conduct the sieve analysis for the coarse and fine aggregates in order to obtain higher compressive strength for pavement design depending on aggregate size density differs which is used for designing dense and open end graded pavement base for embankment the gradation curve is also very important here are some youtube video links which will be helpful for in depth concept of this experiment thank you for listening to this lecture hope to see you in the next experiment